Hello, uh, my name is Allie and welcome to my channel. I am the crochet artist designer extraordinaire <laughs> behind Dorothy Jean Crochet and this is my first tutorial ever. So thank you for clicking on my video and thank you for watching. So I'm really excited about this pattern because I have always struggled with bandana patterns and my main problem with them is they would, because of the shape of the triangle, their right triangle, you know, the longer, the wider you make it, the longer it gets. And then you have like all this extra folding on the side next to the ears. And that works if you've got thick, luscious, curly hair. I've seen beautiful patterns for different bandanas that look great on other girls, but I have thinner hair and I don't know if my head is big or small, but I think if it, it, it just doesn't sit right on me. For whatever reason, they always look too floppy. It always hangs too low. I don't have the right amount of length on the back. So when I'm crocheting it, it will fit around my head, but then the length will be like, the triangle will like stop like at the top of my head. <laughs> So maybe I have a longer head this way. I don't know. So I'm hoping that this will find the right people who have the same problem as me with their bandanas. And there have been several bandana patterns that have come out recently from other crochet creators that I follow. They're lovely, but they just don't fit me well. So I wanted to share my take on the crochet bandana and it is shaped differently starts out the same, starts out as a regular triangle, um, but we shape it a little bit differently and I'm gonna kind of go in and talk about how that is, you know, worked and then show you how to do it. So this tutorial is great for beginners. However, I'm not gonna go over how to do the stitches. So this pattern assumes that you know how to do a magic circle or um, a slip stitch, um, you know, mini circle to crochet into. It assumes that you know how to double crochet, slip stitch, chain, single crochet, attach on, fasten off, weave in ends, all that good stuff. I'm just gonna show you how to do the construction. So if you're a newbie, 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 like never done it before, maybe review some of those foundational um, stitches first and then come back. And there's so many wonderful tutorials out there from different people. So this is the finished product. Now, this is like the perfect size for me. It does not fold over behind my ears like a floppy hat. The length, I'll spin around, is the perfect length. I like when the triangle ends right kind of at the base of my skull. Um, and it could end a little bit before then, but it I like I like the length. I like a little bit of length on mine to kind of cover my head. And then it does have ties and yeah. So I'm gonna go over the construction of you know how it's worked and the supplies. So let me know if you have any questions below and let's get to the pattern. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Lion Brand's True Boo. Another alternative would be Kobu, but any like weight three yarn that you think is soft and drapey, uh, would be perfect. There's a ton of options out there. I just want to double check and make sure I said the right weight. Yep. So a three would be perfect. Okay. So I'm going to be using this one. This color is celery. <laughs> it's pretty right on. All right. And then I'm also going to be using a 3.75. You could go three and a half. You could might even bump it up to a four. That'd be fine. Um, just depending on, you know, what you want your fabric to look like. Uh, scissors, of course, and then a needle um, to weave in ends at the end. But that's all you need to get started. All right, so now I want to talk a little bit of how this is constructed because this is a bandana where I've designed it that it there's no extra side bulk. Um, so regular bandanas they're a 90 degree you know triangle so i'm gonna draw the best that i can here so as you build it you you are increasing it 
lengthwise and heightwise as you go. And so my problem was the longer I made it, the more wide it was across my head and I needed it to stop at a certain point and then get longer because once it once it reached my head circumference that I liked it was too short so how did I stop the increase on the side but also build length so that is where this design comes in so we're going to start it out like every other bandana um, with a magic circle or you know a chain you know slip stitch and we're going to build it up with granny stitches row by row I'm just drawing like a loose diagram here so you can get the picture. So there's our triangle and we're gonna stop it when this base equals your circumference of your head that you desire, okay? Once we get to that point, we're gonna stop and we're gonna cut our yarn and we're gonna attach some way kind of not quite halfway but right about here and I'll you know tell you all that later but and we're gonna start building those rows up again but we're not going to go all the way down and we're gonna stop increasing on that side so we're gonna keep going up this way until we have the length that we want. So your shape that you, you know, end with, I'll get a different color so it's easier to kind of tell, is this shape. It is kind of like a house with, a, it's like a house on a hill <laughs> is the shape that we're making. And we're doing this with granny stitches and chains and what happens is when you eliminate this increase on the side, um, it it doesn't get bulky anymore on that side of the head where your ear is, where that you know the bulk is primarily. So like this angle on a regular bandana is where that starts, and we're eliminating that. So you can make this as long as you want once you get it to the base measurement that. Is the circumference that you desire for your head if that makes sense so i hope this little explanation helps understanding like the construction and of course you can always comment below and ask me um to clarify something if i wasn't totally clear um but yeah so that's it and we're gonna go ahead and get started all right i'm gonna try to find the center here don't know if we'll get some vomit i got a little bit <laughs> here's the end okay so we want to make a magic circle or you can do like a chain four slip stitch loop if you prefer that method I like a magic circle and this yarn can be splitty so just be careful all right so now what we're going to do is start the end of each row so the end of each row has a either a double crochet or chain three plus an additional chain so i'll show you kind of what that means so we're going to chain four one two three four and that counts as a double crochet with a chain one now into the circle we're going to do a granny stitch so that's three double crochets together one two and three and now we're going to build our corner so hang on let me get this mess situated here <laughs> so our corner is always going to be three chains one two three and i've seen people make bandanas with two but i think a third one really helps get that triangle point just right so after that we're going to do three more double crochets so one more granny one two, three, and now we're kind of going to mimic what we did on the end, excuse me while I untangle this a little bit more, by chaining one and then double crocheting again. 
And this extra chain one with a double is gonna help um, the bottom of the bandana be as straight as possible. And so now we're gonna pull on our magic circle and now we have the first mini triangle. So now we're gonna basically repeat what we just did just on the other side. So we're chaining four, one, two, three, four, turn, and into the chain space, I'm gonna do that granny stitch. So three double crochets, And then in between each of the granny stitches, we're gonna do a chain one. And so into our corner, we're gonna do another corner uh, granny. So we're gonna do our granny stitch, chain three, granny stitch. All right, so I need one more. And then one, two, three. And then three grannies. Not three grannies, three doubles, one granny, two. chain one and then in that chain space do three doubles one two three and then you're going to chain one and double crochet one more time and you can see now that the bandana is growing in our triangle shape and that's how each row is done. So we'll do one more together and I will meet you back when I'm ready to start the construction of the next part of it. So we chain four, flip, double crochet into the chain space three times, chain one, Granny stitch into the chain space, building up our triangle, increasing each row, chain one, and then corner is three doubles, three chains, three doubles. That's one, two, three, two, three, and one, two, three. Chain one, granny stitch, one, two, three, chain one, and then in that space on the end right here, three doubles, one, two, three, chain one, and then double crochet again right into that same spot. And I think I accidentally got them into that loop. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and redo that part. So if you needed to see it again, that's good. All right, so I'll make sure I'm not getting into that loop. One, two, three, chain one, one more double. And now we have another row. And you see how like that extra is making it really nice and straight on the bottom. And then that extra chain at the top um, is really helps with that point. So this is where I'm gonna leave you. You're gonna build it up as far as it will reach around the circumference of your head. So this bottom part, um, you want the base of your triangle to fit around your head just enough where once we get the ties, you know, crocheted on, it'll fit nice and snug. So um, it's very important that you make this baseline um, only as large as your head circumference because that helps with the problem of the bulk that I talked about. Um, and if you don't want the bulk on the side, then we want it to just fit just so, <laughs> so that we don't have that problem. So, all right, I will meet you back in a little bit. All right, so I've got my base triangle done 
and I'm going to count real quick to see how many rows I ended up doing just for your reference. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I did fourteen. Um, and these and these ends right here are not quite touching when I put it around my head. Um, and that's fine because I might end up blocking it a little bit. Um, and then like when you add the ties on, it'll pull, you know, slightly. So just, just enough where it fits around and kind of barely touches there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this yarn. Scary. <laughs> it's fine. And... Make sure that is nice and snug. Hair out of the way. Okay. So now we're going to get our yarn. Put it back on our hook. And we're going to pick a row to start building the triangle up. And I think I'm going to start, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I'm going to start right here, right after the sixth uh, granny stitch here. And I'm going to attach on. <laughs> That's Silas. I don't know if you heard him. <laughs> and chain three. One, two, three. And turn. And you could fasten on either side. I mean, you didn't have to go on the left, <laughs> clearly. All right. So. I'm going to do my granny stitch here. Chain one. And I'm going to work up and down to the same side. And you can put a stitch marker there if you want. I might do that just so you can see better. So I'm going to follow this row right across here. So I know to stop there. All right. So I'm going to work up and down and I'll be right back. All right. So I've got my first extension row here. So you can see how it starts to go up and over and I stopped at my marker. So now what I'm going to do is chain three and turn. And I'm going to go right into that next chain space with a granny. Chain one, granny, all the way across, like usual. Oop. And you can see how this next row just builds straight up on top of that. And I'm going to go again. I'm going to work my way up here and down and I'll show you what to do when you get to this other side here. Okay, so I've worked up another row and I'm on this last granny stitch here on the end. So I've got the granny stitch and then the last one from the previous row. Now the one slightly different thing we're going to do when you reach the end is we're going to double crochet into... You can do the third chain space. I just do it right into like the space. Like I don't try to get my hook underneath the two loops there. 
um, but you just do one double right there on the end, chain three, turn, and we're going to go right again into the next chain space there with the granny. Okay. And so on and so forth. So now you can see that helps this edge start to build up straight and it will do the same thing on this side. Um, so I'm going to work a couple rows on this and just to show you how it shapes up and you start doing your own rows as long as you want it to make it. Um, so you can take measurements, you can, you know, do a couple rows, try it on, look in a mirror, come back, take it apart, do, you know, whatever you need to do to get it to the length that you need. So I'm going to do a few more uh, just to show you and I'll come back and then we'll talk about um, fastening off and adding ties on the ends here. So be right back. And just to show you real quick again, um, when you get to the end and you have the double crochet from the previous row there, you just double crochet right into that chain space. And I did not chain one um, between that. So just in case you get confused on your way back. So just one double crochet on the end, chain three, turn, and then you just go right into that next chain space one two three like that okay okay so I am done with my extension rows I ended up doing one two three four so Four rows to lengthen it and I had 13 or 14 this way so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so about 18 rows total for my size I like the length of it I like how it fits now so I'm going to cut my yarn and secure that end. Okay, ends are woven in, so those are out of the way. I will say, make sure that if you do a magic circle in the beginning that you really secure that tail. Um, I've made the mistake of just snipping it off in the past and then um, pieces that I've made with the magic circle start to unravel because I just assumed it would stay in place. <laughs> So don't make that rookie mistake. Make sure that magic circle is secured. Okay. The ties are really simple. We're just going to attach on to that um, space on the corner here. I like that. Okay. So we are attached. And the ties are really up to you. I just kind of, I don't even count. I just like go until I feel like they're long enough to make a bow. And then when I get to the other side, I try to just match that. Oop, see? Super splitty this yarn. It's really nice, but very splitty. All right, let's see how long that looks I'm gonna need a little bit more because my ends here weren't like I said weren't um, touching um, perfectly they had a little bit of space and so I definitely want some room here y'all if I get out of focus I'm sorry this is my first tutorial ever and I'm filming on my phone so okay that looks pretty good. 
Um, I'll measure that for you just so that you have a reference, but honestly, it's up to you. Okay, it's about, it's about 10 inches. So some people do slip stitches the way down. I like to do single crochets. Um, just find it a little bit easier. You could do back bump. You could do it, you know, under the V's. They're just ties. <laughs> no one's going to see them. Um, so I'm going to work single crochets all the way down. And I'll come back when I get down here. All right, so now that I have my first tie done, I'm at the base here and I have, just so you can have it oriented the right way, I have the base at the top here. And I'm gonna slip stitch into that double crochet space. And then I'm gonna just do a bunch of single crochets all the way down the base to the end there. So I'm just gonna chain one and start that. So it's about, I mean, there's no exact science to this step. Um, it's about two singles for every, you know, double crochet that makes up the base. Like that. So I'm just going to keep going down. One, two, one, two, one, two. And that just puts a clean edge right there and also it helps us get to the other side to do our other time. So I'm going to keep going down, keep working down, and I'll meet you over here. All right, I'm at the end. You can see how nice that looks across the base. Um, I just single crocheted into that last space on the end right there. So now we're going to do the same thing that we did for the tie on this end. I'm just going to chain a bunch until it's a about the same length as the other one. So, and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm just going to single crochet into each loop. You can slip stitch this. You can half double it if you want. Whatever you feel like would be most secure for you. Bag that. Okay, I'll meet you down here. Okay, I'm at the end here. There's my tie. And I'm just going to slip stitch into that space. Like that. And then if you kind of want to like double secure it, I'll, I'll go underneath these two V's here of that single crochet. And just go under there. And I'm going to cut. And fasten off and pull that nice and snug. Okay. I'm going to weave in this end, try it on, and get back to you. Okay, so here is the final product. So you can see that it sits nicely across my head and doesn't bulk out this way. I've got the length that I want in the back. Do a little spin in my chair. <laughs> And it's just, it, it sits so much nicer than the regular triangle because I would have like this pointy fabric that would like hang down on my ears and make me look like a founding father. <laughs> so I hope that this works for you if you have a smaller head or n not super thick hair to like fill out a regular triangle bandana. I hope this is a good alternative. This is my first YouTube tutorial ever. So please, 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 any feedback is appreciated. Any critiques, any suggestions, always appreciated so I can get better at this. 
my filming setup is pretty rudimentary right now. I'm just using my my phone and and using that just to upload straight to YouTube. So nothing fancy, just a good old fashioned video. But otherwise, please like and subscribe if this was helpful. And please tag me on Instagram if you make one and how it turned out. You can email me any questions or leave comments below and I will reply to any suggestion or question you may have about the pattern. My first time teaching and explaining how to do something in crochet, so I'm sure I have a learning curve. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!